Hey, not a limited intro. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Star Rail. Before we continue into 2.1, I totally forgot something. Yeah. I forgot, uh, wait, where the fuck is it at? Hello? Oh, this totally prepared video. There it is. I forgot the companion quest, which will feature two of my personal favorite ladies from Pinnacone and Honkai Star Rail, the lovely Black Swan and Sparkle. Can't wait. Should be fun. Let's see. Read specific message. Dr. Edward. Okay. Dr. Edward. He's the robot? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Donnie. Someone just donated a dream bubble to our store after conducting psychometric spectral analysis on it. I suspect you would be interested in the contents of this dream bubble. Who donated it to you? The donor is an elegant lady with the name Black Swan. If you have the time, we would love to have you any time. The masquerade duet. Start. No, haha, ha, don't panic. It's just a companion quest. We've done this plenty of times. I figured I would actually do the companion quest as I was going, instead of finishing the story, going back, doing a shit ton of side content, and then continuing the story again. With this, we'll just be able to go through it in one big go. Oh, please, car. Okay. Um, where, you're over here? You're not down there. You... What? Dear sir, please stay a while. There's no need to hurry in the dreamscape where time stands still. What? Please take this pamphlet. I'll be performing the song of beauty. <gasps> beauty! Are you too a knight of beauty? Why did it stop me for that? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, pan Ooh, hello. I've collected a dreamscape tourist guide. All right, all right, all right. But before we get to that companion mission, I want to address an elephant in the room. Uh, I am referring to the lovely live stream that happened the other day. Uh, the Into the Yawning Chasm 2.1 Honkai Star Rail. My first ever stream, um, which well, I'll drop the premiere joke. It was a stream. Um, the video had... Ma'am, I'm trying to resort... To, I'm trying to do a video. Do you mind not just, like, walk it? People. Um, another one gonna cross in front? This is the ridiculous... Okay, fuck it. Uh, that video had... Um, so, why would you come right at the camera? That video had some mixed receiving. Uh, there were people who really liked the video. If I go by the numbers of the video, there were a lot of people who really liked that video. And then if I go by all the comments that were not too happy with it, I'll keep it brief. I love that video. I loved that stream so much. 10 out of 10, amazing, beautiful, wonderful. I would literally do it right now. I loved it so much. I will never apologize for that video. It was great. Um, on the flip side, to the people who were very adamant about sharing their opinions with how I should run content. There will be more Honkai Star Rail live streams in the future, but um, not in that same form, not for the game. Sir, how many NPCs are gonna stride up on me? Like, to, oh my God, I almost flinched at that. Regardless of what everyone says, I have my opinion, you have your opinion. Um, did I enjoy the chaos, the craziness and everything that happened in that video? I loved it to death. Do I think it was too much for the video itself? Yes, absolutely. Like, even as I was doing the stream, I was like, this is a lot. But I didn't care, because I was having fun. Um, and it's one video out of 60 that is like that. So you will be fine. Going forward, though, I do agree. I think um, just the one hour long, pre-recorded, and then when we do like a special thing, it'll be an actual premiere, not like a joke premiere. Um, but otherwise, it was amazingly fun. I 100% intend to do more live stream stuff in the future. It was amazing. Uh, I went back and rewatched the video. I liked it. I, I, I liked it a lot. Um, to the donations and everything, I saw a lot of comments I missed. I saw some super chat messages I missed and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't ignoring anybody. I wasn't not answering anybody. I was purely just so caught up in the moment having fun that I just didn't notice. Um, 
But yeah, so just want to let you all know, I loved the video. It's amazing. I couldn't give two shits what someone else's opinion of that video is. Uh, but just to the, like, the minority of you who didn't like that video, don't worry. Whoa, I'm trying to talk. Uh, it is going to go back to the usual form for the Star Rail videos. No worries there. Um, that all that was a longer intro for that than I wanted to give it. Um, anyways, on to the companion mission. What am I talking about? We don't have a mission. We don't have an intro. Dr. Edward. One time to see you, old big guy. You must be here to experience some stream. I am. I've already made the necessary preparations. Be careful. We did pass the safety inspection stipulated by the 27 that Ferris and Article 0 Sensei's utilization. Hmm. However, this string stream will feature unfiltered and unpolished fresh memory. Interesting. Interesting. A very vivid experience. A very vivid experience. Veteran gaming. Call this type of dream a thrill. Veteran gamers. If you feel any discomfort, please leave the dreams get immediately and seek professional medical help. What a guy. I just so happen to be an excellent doctor. I'll be a psychiatric one. <laughs> yeah. Make out hands, buddy. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead on the dream. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this. Elegant girl. The nature of this memory is special. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. Hey, my kind of lady. It's not simping. Ooh, cutscene. In my estimation, there is no question about it. This is murder. A murder most foul. Murder. Such a foreign word to us. The people of Penacone could never come to any harm while under the watchful protection of the family. Is that like a sparkle themed hammer in the background? In a dream, even if you're bashed a thousand times with a hammer, at worst you'll still wake up in reality in a hotel. I know what that feels like. Not necessarily. Even if the result does not constitute harm, the criminal intent is clear enough. You specifically came here to cordon off the scene because of the unsavory nature of this case. Right? Right. You're not wrong. Why is he here? It's Sparkle in disguise, right? Being smashed over the head with a hammer in the middle of the street for no reason at all. <laughs> this is not the kind of thing that happens on Pentecone. What a foolish action. You are guests of the old family, so you may investigate the crime scene. I'll be on standby over here. That's not Sampo, right? Sampo's on Bellabog. What's really gonna get me is wow, them are some dusty books. Are you a witch? Just how did you manage to convince them in the blink of an eye that we're some kind of detectives? She, why does she look at people like that? My god. We're Black Swan! How is this at? Okay. If offer no explanation is her staying quiet, I don't think that would be true to character. I feel like I feel like we'd go with this. Just some suggestions at the memory level. If something happens in everybody's memory, then that something becomes a fact. If we had a little more time, I could have even convinced her I was Shipe the Harmony. Zip. Why you gotta look at me like that every time, girl? Then Chill. on to the next order of business. Let's discuss your companion, shall we? Huh? Memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. What? I've been watching you for quite some time. Wait, are you the real Sampo then? You stole a glance at 
me when you first entered the hotel. You followed me wherever I went inside the dreamscape. In the windows along the commercial street. In the pond bar reflections of the Ideal Park. Even in the reflections of the wine glass. Thank you. Everywhere. My dear, do you have a crush on me? Whoa! Whoa, no simping. No simping. Let's play a little game. Oh, not a game. You know what? It is just the mask. Maybe this is still Sparkle. I, I could see that happening. Did Sparkle already try to talk to you and you said you didn't want her to be a dance partner or something? Rage. Rage. Actually, more than one memo keeper who's come to Panacone. She's mixed me up with someone else, but no harm, no foul. <laughs> Simple mistake. The address that the mask gave you was right here, but you never would have thought that when Miss Sparkle mentioned a game, she was talking about wanton slaughter on the streets of Panacone. Wait, Sparkle's out here murdering people? I'd like to see that bitch fucking do what Argenti did and show up in my room and just be like, hey, Oh my god! No, it's you! Don't worry. I'll go easy. Easy on me. Oh, oh. Did that hurt? We should be safe, right? Such a direct act of provocation is enough to get my competitive side worked up too. Ma'am? Madam. Forgive me. I have no idea about anything she said. As you saw, I went through a brain scan and everything. Oh, dear Sampo. I'm just a friend. Helping her deliver Best a friend. That's all. I never knew this was actually a declaration of warfare. They say you shouldn't kill the messenger. So, maybe you can just, you know, let me go. <laughs> you all are the big shots here. I'm really not on your level. No, Sampo. <laughs> what a frightened look you have. Don't worry. Since this has nothing to do with you, I won't be suspecting you of anything. Why don't you come take a stroll with me? But come with me anyway. Oh, seems like I can't escape being an assistant detective. Oh, fine. It's all fine. No big deal. <laughs> Poor Sampo. Black Swan has joined the team temporarily. Again. There we go. Uh, we are all ready. Black Swan, this is kind of funny. Ask the Bloodhound family about what's going on. Who the hell? Constable. <laughs> yes, no, Mr. Bailiff. Okay, I see the hammer. I see the bubbles. What? There's boxes here. I can't actually click the hammer. That's annoying. Hanyu's there. All right, let's do this shit. If there's anything you'd like to know, please ask away. Oh, please don't give me a thousand questions. Yapaconi in true, true style. Who was the victim? An IPC employee named Shamari. Eyewitnesses reported that a tall, strong man wearing a large rope with long sleeves walked right past Shamari and suddenly assaulted him with a hammer. A large man in a robe? Shamari collapsed on the spot and woke up from the dream. The murderer vanished in a flash. Ooh, that sounds just like Sparkle. Her best asset is transforming her appearance to look like someone else. Is that right, Sampogoski? Who are those two little guys? Little guys. Seems like the assailants stole the troop from elsewhere and deliberately placed them here. What nerve. They don't even have the slightest consideration for public order. Those two have clammed up. I wonder if you two could help pry open their mouths. Interesting. Looks like a puzzle that Sparkle has left behind for you. <laughs> His voice is just slightly different from Bellabog. I don't know if that's because it is Sparkle, or uh, it's just the guy hasn't voice acted 
sample in a while. I don't know. Any leads yet? This is a developing case, so there aren't many clues yet. All we have to go by are the weapon used by the assailant and the victim's ID. Mm -hmm. They didn't even take the weapon with them. Sounds like they're trying <laughs> to provoke us. Despicable. Well, they fucked up because there's a memo keeper here. Where's Mr. Shamari right now? I'd like to meet him. I'm afraid you can't. The Oaks came forward and calmed him down. Mr. Shamari expressed that he understands the unpredictable nature of dreams and went on to vacation in another dreamscape. Oh, he's outside of the Golden Hour. Him. Guest experiences always have to come first. Oh, I'm afraid by the time we find him, half of Penacony will have been sent back to reality by Sparkle. Oh my god, she's on a fucking murder spree. Looks like we'll have to play this little game of Sparkles then. She's got a maxed out blood bar on a fucking corn playthrough in Total War 3. Or the Brass Bull, either or. Alright, Black Swan, we must solve the mystery. What is happening? The Sparkle Murder Case. The Sparkle Murder Case? Wasn't the victim Shamari from the IPC? You're wrong, Lady Black Swan. The victim is evidently none other than the matriarch of the Goldhammer family, Miss Sparkle Goldhammer. What is happening? Oh, I guess Miss Sparkle has written herself into the skit here, and this has nothing to do with the actual case. Goldhammer? Is that her real surname? Never heard of it. Sounds made up. Sparkle doesn't sound like a real name either. Miss Sparkle was supposed to receive three valiant warriors at the Goldhammer residence today, but upon their arrival, all they found was her body. Miss Sparkle had been smashed over the head by a hammer and died on the spot. Such a brutal act of violence. I mean, in her music video, she's literally shooting herself in the head like six times. I'm not too... My investigation I don't think it bugged her very much. Three warriors were supposed to escort supplies back to their territory the day before, but they were unexpectedly ambushed by the Annihilation Gang. They narrowly escaped and barely got away with their lives, finding their supplies almost completely raided. So they all shared a motive for killing Miss Sparkle. To escape punishment! Mm. So the three of them teamed up to kill her. Huh? Mm. Is the case closed? Yep, case closed. We're done with the video. Oh, there can only be one murderer. It's an unsolved mystery if there were three murderers. Hang on, wait. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> if you can't justify it, don't bother. Got it. Those three were all vying against each other to be number two. They couldn't have cooperated on anything. So it must have been one of them acting alone. Mm, that actually doesn't make much sense. Even if they were on bad terms, those three... Please begin your investigation, Lady <laughs> Black Swan. There are lots of clues at the crime scene that are sure to help you apprehend the real culprit. I've got the case file right here. If you want to learn more about the suspects, talk to me. All right, Bailiff. What you got? Lady Black Swan, allow me to introduce the three suspects to you. Lefton, Zhongshan, and Wright. What? Lefton is one of Miss Sparkle's chief lieutenants, whose right hand was unfortunately severed while he was valiantly fighting off the Annihilation Gang. He's now learning how to write and hold a fork with his left hand. How tough that must be! So why his name's Lefton? Then there's Zhongshan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as a group spotted some bandits along the road. He ended up smashing into the side of a cliff and getting his face disfigured. It's a real shame, as he used to be one of the rare handsome men left around town. What is happening? This all comes right. This 
guy was so insatiably greedy that he still came back to try and embezzle the rest of the supplies after they narrowly escaped with their lives, lying about how the gang had taken off with everything. Left an injunction, were so incensed that they broke his legs. Hang on, I'm confused here. Left on? Right? Is this some kind of joke? What? Where did you get that idea from? <laughs> Do you need me to go over it all again? No, we're good. Please don't. That won't be necessary. I've memorized every detail. No wonder you're a memo keeper. She got that memory. Good thing she's on my team. My goldfish brain needs help. Damn, do you have a back mo- What's this pile of dusty books? An ID card. Talent Motivation Department, Shamari. Is this the victim's? Mr. Shamari's belongings should have disappeared alongside him as he woke from the dreamscape. The fact that this ID is here means Miss Sparkle placed it here on purpose to prove that she definitely attacked someone. Ish. Evidence Shamari's ID, and then the murder weapon. Holy moly! This hammer is super heavy! <laughs> this must be the murder weapon for the Sparkle murder case! Miss Sparkle also used it to attack Mr. Shamari. Shamari? Why'd she sound pouty when she said that? Hands. I have no idea how Sparkle could ever use this to hit a target! Agreed, Sampo. Oh, we just pick it up? Okay. Giant wooden hammer. Is that all the evidence? How are we meant to solve this with so little to go on? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, you scared me! When did you pop out? Just now, Sampo. The two pieces of evidence that you found are related to the attack on Shamari. Miss Sparkle didn't leave them lying around for no reason. They're clues to the puzzle. Hmm. But there are still some other clues that were placed in other areas, so they won't spoil the crime scene. Shaking my legs so much the camera's shaking. Isn't that a bit unnecessary? <laughs> no, no. It's disruptive to have a stack of irrelevant things crowding a crime scene. Miss Sparkle is a law-abiding citizen who'd never bring extra trouble to the family. Hmm. Seems quite nice of her, if you ask me. It was true, yeah. Hmm. Looks like Miss Sparkle is adding a little spice to the investigation. Let's take her up on her offer, then. Mr. Assistant Detective, this way. She's so happy to have this happen. Oh, this is one of those... What? It's morphin' time, haunt you. Are we gonna see a mini black swan haunt you? Nope. We're just haunt you. Ah, yes. Dun, dun, dun. What the fuck is that thing? Hmm. What's this little device here for? Could you please let me know? It looks like a little button. A little button. Don't push it, Lady Blackstone. Or whatever you do, don't push it! That's the mutually assured destruction button that Miss Sparkle installed. Once pushed, Miss Sparkle and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up in smoke! Miss Sparkle also has her own button. The second she pushes hit, you and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up and smoke. <laughs> smoke. That sounds like both buttons can do the exact same thing. Correct. Exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. Uh... Oh. Aren't you going to ask me why? No. Okay. Why? Because she is there. This is nuts. 
I'm on the same uh, same side of that fence as you are, my guy. The mutually <laughs> shared destruction button. Oh no. What have we got here? Oh, something no. Those who are not shrunk. Okay. Oh, what's this? Are we gonna turn back into Black Swan? Oh. Yeah. Anything else in here? I saw it. Nope. Never mind. I guess not. It's morphin' time. <laughs> Oh, it's a puzzle. Shall we solve the puzzle? Boop, boop, boop. Behold, Nakey Pom Pom doll. What's this? A plush toy? Regardless of why it's designed to look like the conductor aboard the Astral Express, this doll, is it connected to the case? Have you ever heard of something called a in detective stories? It's a fake clue that leads you down the wrong path. I see. But when it's so obvious, doesn't that defeat the purpose? That, that's just in case you didn't <laughs> that, the ingenuity of Miss Buckle and were worried about her throwing out a random useless clue. <laughs> I see. Thank you for your keen insight. Then, let's pretend we were misled by a red herring. Hmm. This doll. Could it be connected to the case? She's she's having so much fun. Uh you don't have to play along that hard, you know. <laughs> this mission is great. How could somebody make a ooh, a pom-pom toy? Like wouldn't Wouldn't everybody know? Or like, my bad, wouldn't like nobody know what Pom Pom looked like? Put heavy items to hunt, you can drop on people's heads. Get out of here. Bap! Get destroyed, TV man. What that guy say just now? Has the boss come over or something? Whatever. This is literally just the same puzzle as before. What's this? This notice seems like a hint for us from Miss Sparkle. Is it now? To prevent criminal criminals, to, <laughs> Gold Hammer Resident Security Regulations. To prevent criminals from hurting our guest and lovely Miss Sparkle, the Golden Hammer Resident shall abide by the following regulations from today onwards. One, all retainers and visitors must enter and exit the Goldhammer residence using the facial recognition system. Two, those who cannot pass through the facial recognition system will be killed on the spot. Three, these regulations are in effect indefinitely. That sounded like a story from ancient times. Yep. And why did the facial recognition system suddenly go out? Sounds like somebody didn't want to be recognized. This is so her style, isn't it? I don't know. Doesn't look like there are any more clues. Let's head back to the crime scene. Back to the crime scene. Next, should we pin down the Thank you for the transition. Perpetrator. This evidence. I've been staring at it all day, but there's nothing that can identify the perp. Not the perp. God dang it. Left in. That guy lost his hand. Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff? Right. I remember this one best. Wright has a broken leg. <laughs> Why don't we flip the question and start by asking who couldn't be the murderer? After all, there are only three suspects, so elimination could be a valid method. That makes it easier. If you put it like that, then do you already have someone in mind? Tell, Tell me. Come, come on. on. <sighs> Alright, so here's the thing, right? This dude doesn't have a hand. He can't pick up that hammer. This dude's legs are broken. He wouldn't have been able to enter the scene, let alone leave the scene. 
So it's gotta be Zhang Mashangadang. No, no, no. Who Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured? No, I don't like this one. This guy. Let's get rid of old righty. Um the hammer. Based on the bailiff's statement, Lefton's dominant hand was seriously injured to the point where he had to learn how to live using only his left hand. Swinging that giant sledgehammer to murder someone. That must be hard for him. Probably impossible. Lefton's suspicion level can be downgraded. Goodbye, Lefton. So who exactly is the murderer? Who is it, Sampo? Remember this one best. Wright has a broken leg. <laughs> Break a leg, bud. Uh I don't The security regulation. Is it this one? Oh, is that so? I feel like the Let's do the red herring. Oh, is that so? It's not gonna be this one either. Oh, is that so? Just the hammer again? Oh, is that so? What? Oh, is that so? Huh? There's no way. I mean, yeah, the face. I know this guy because of the facial recognition, but like, he's got broken fucking legs. Poor guy. He was seriously injured and was all wrapped up in bandages to keep his good looks safe. If that's the case, then he couldn't have made it through the Goldhammer Residence's facial recognition. I'd system. make a terrible detective, apparently. That would suggest that Zhongshan is not. Zhongshan. By process of elimination, it seems that only Wright could be the murderer. That was easy. Let's tell the constable our answer and see what he thinks. All right. Come on, constable. What you got? Please, detective Black Swan and Assistant Detective Sampo are ready. Next puzzle? What? Huh? The next puzzle? I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. Me either, dude. <laughs> Looks like the key to winning lies not in the puzzle itself, but in the motives behind Miss Sparkle's strange behavior. I'm afraid this chase may just go on forever. Every time I look at this woman, her face, she is so terrifying. Now I understand why in the trailer, like the first thing she says is, why do you look so scared? Weird mix of emotion. Do you plan on finding logic in the mind of a masked fool? That's exactly what I plan on doing. Even if it's just subjective, there must be an overall principle behind the behavior. Memories cannot lie. And hers may just understand more about her than she does herself. Interesting thought. Right now, let's follow her train of thought and head to the next puzzle. I hope this time we can get ahead of the Bloodhound family. I want to try and avoid using my memo keeper powers. Mm-hmm. Onward to the next puzzle, which is up here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Getting through. Ooh, can I buy a balloon? That'd be really cool. Nope. Can't buy a balloon. So why are you so focused on Sparkle's challenge? Or should I ask? Are you more focused on Sparkle herself? Sampo, no simping. Oh my god. I told you. It's purely out of a spirit of competitiveness. Competitiveness. And, as a memo keeper, I also have to fulfill my responsibilities and harvest some interesting memories. Harvest? Why the keyword harvest? <laughs> Whoa, oh. this place is a complete mess. <laughs> and those two weirdos are probably here too. Yep, sheriff and deputy There's sheriff. Else at the scene. Seems like Miss Sparkle used the same method to send dreamers back to reality. <laughs> send. Let's send those two there then. Oh, Detective Black Swan and Detective Sampo, you finally made it. Finally made it. We don't know what we do without your help. This, what is this unlikely duo in this music? 
I can't. Why are you talking like that? Is this some sort of artistic performance that young people are into these days? Mm hmm. Is there something wrong with the way we are talking? Deputy Sheriff, am I talking in a strange way? Strange way? Oh, of course not, Sheriff. The way you talk is no stranger than the cat that climbs the apple tree in my grandma's backyard. Oh, sorry, I'm jamming too much. Whew. What is happening? Her again. Sparkle really is obsessed with scripting her own death. Have you seen her character demo? Oh, if you undercut me one more time, I swear I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Sparkle came to the fashion store to buy herself a brand new tie. <laughs> she didn't come back out. My God. After a long time, the shopkeeper went in to see what was going on, but instead discovered Miss Sparkle's body. She had been strangled to death. My God. There were three suspects on the scene, namely a Papashi shopkeeper named Rhett, a Foxy and Gambler named Zhang Shan, and a wealthy Intellitron trader called Lefton. <sighs> Our old friends. Girl, you are having way too much fun. It's not just to aid your memory. We've added more descriptions to help tell them apart. Miss Sparkle is so gracious. You are so lucky I'm being forced to put up with this playing out of my own free will. Based on surveillance footage, witness testimony, and various pieces of evidence, the killer is ultimately among these three, and they were not working in cahoots. You're too lazy to be a suspect, <laughs> right? Oh, for the laughter! If I talk anymore with you, it'll make my pure soul filthy! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Can I can I end this video now, please? Detective Lux Swan, the dossiers are over here. You can learn more about the suspects from me. I trust you'll be able to cut through the hogwash and find out who Miss Sparkle's killer is. <sighs> Please end it. Let me introduce the identities of these suspects to you. It's very straightforward. Is it? First of all, is the shopkeeper right? He's one of the Papashi people and only stands as tall as Sparkle's waist, which is often a source of teasing for him. He can get pretty salty about it. Sparkle's not that tall, right? Next up, you have the merchant Lepton. He wants to join up with the Panacone Trading Guild and is in direct competition with Miss Sparkle. Ooh. That could be a motive for killing her. Finally, there is the gambler Zhang Shan. He lost a bet to Miss Sparkle, and he had to hand over his family heirloom. It's possible he harbored a grudge against her. Who the fuck bets their family heirloom? The information we have. Do you need me to repeat it? No, that won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. I remember it all. It all. Ah, <sighs> case review number two. Let's do this shit. There's an accounting book lying on the ground. It must have been specially placed there by Sparkle. On the title page is written, Chen Katong. Is that someone's name? <gasps> A, A code, code name. name. Oh, I think it's the name of the owner of this book. <laughs> this Chen Katong person should be Sparkle's targeted victim this time around. Well, no, because then it would have disappeared. Okay. And there's the tie. There's the tie! That skit before said that the deceased was strangled. Is this tie some kind of joke murder weapon? Joke. The tag the on the tie reads, only for Imperial Master Lefton. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's one of Miss Sparkle's personal belongings. Every once in a while, Sampo sounds like Billy from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and it makes me giggle. That's not how you use the word Imperial. <laughs> 
The Imperial Tie. Is that all of it? Just two? Okay. Guess we're going. So, it's just like the first case then. Only two pieces of evidence. The rest hidden inside her memories again. Right? Right. Miss Sparkle doesn't want to distract your investigation. She doesn't want to distract our investigation? What a law-abiding citizen this Sparkle is. Why doesn't she surrender then? Oh, Sampo. Always asking the real questions. Alright, on you time. Let's go. I haven't been in this TV. Always such a bop. Okay then. Ba -ba. Wow, we fit through that? Are you kidding me? Oh, right here. All right. Return to tall and elegant legs. Return to Black Swan. A little stool that seems quite normal. There are two small footprints drawn on it in crayon. Crayon. The footprints, which are half as big as standard, must belong to a Papeshi person. Perhaps it's just that this person's drawing skills are extraordinary. Could be, Sampo. Could be, my guy. So, that's going to be the evidence for whatever Papeshi we got going on. Really? We can't fit through that, you kidding? Girl, that slender figure, you kidding me? Okay. Uh, where's that TV go? There it is. Where's this evidence at? Right here? Bubble? Is it you? It's not you. It's over here. What's that smell? Why is there a smoke red herring there? Well, Sampo, you see. Mr. Sampo, take a look. This is a wonderful smoked red herring. <laughs> Somebody save me from this cringe joke. <laughs> Please, me too. Get me out. Rules, I know. Miss Sparkle's sense of humor stands out from the rest. How many fools do you know? Have you dealt with many masked fools before? Me and Sampo are literally the same person on this mission. No, only a handful. After all, I prefer warm memories baked in sunshine. They're the ones that usually belong to kind people. Oh, Telling you, man, me and Sampo. Sampo Kaski needs to come through that door one of these days. I'd offer that man a drink in a heartbeat. And then him and me would hop on Star Rail. We'd burn all of my, like, Star Rail trailblazing energy so that we could just buff my Sampo to the maximum fucking possible point that it can get to. This clock is... Broken. Open it up and take a look. Oh. oh, not one of these, please, God. Might be the easiest one of those I have ever done. Clock tick tock, it's Clocky's time to win. Huh? Awaken, Clock. There's a ring inside. This is evidence too. <laughs> Why was it planted inside another, another device? device? Because this ring was found inside the victim's mouth. We want to reconstruct the scene of the crime. In the victim's mouth. Mouth. Hey, there's something engraved inside the ring. Jong Shan family heirloom. <gasps> My God. That should be it. Let's head out. Thank you for just teleporting me out, I too, by the way. Thank you, Mr. Assistant Detective. But the puzzle this time is pretty strange. Is it, Miss Detective? Have you found out who the killer is? Just some shallow intuition. Anyway, let's report back to the sheriff for now. 
Oh, Sheriff. We've evidence for you. Oh, for the laughter! Didn't think I'd be seeing Detective Black Swan so soon. What's that? You found out who the killer is? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. You live up to your reputation, Detective Black Swan. As smart as the nest of magpies roosting in the roof of my Uncle Frank's garage. What? Uh... This guy is mixing up his birds here. Sorry, Sampa, I was distracted. I got very distracted by a singular thing and then started hearing about birds and magpies and Uncle Frank. Then go ahead. Who is the killer? And what evidence do you have to prove the case? Why is it... Do not. In my opinion, there is no murderer for this case. What do you mean by that? Huh? What did you say? What did you say? Give them the herring. This evidence doesn't really prove that he is the murderer. E. It doesn't. Looks like Miss Sparkle is more careful than I thought. <laughs> Why did it change viewpoints? Like, <laughs> give him the ring. This ring is a piece of evidence, right? That's right. That's the one. That's the one. Zhang Shan stormed into the changing room to try and get his ring back, flustering the sparkle who swallowed it. Who would have guessed that the ring would get stuck in her throat? Zhang Shan repaid evil with kindness and tried to borrow a tie to help Miss Sparkle squeeze out the ring. But sadly, she couldn't be saved. Damn, I just clicked that on a whim. I didn't actually think. What a tragedy. If it weren't for your incisive detective work, the three suspects would all be facing grave injustice. My God. Uh, is something wrong here? This is too easy. <laughs> the first case wasn't hard, but this one. As you can imagine, the conclusions that the evidence points to are not mutually exclusive. Which means, this is probably another prank from Miss Sparkle. This devious little prankster, man. Mr. Assistant Detective, please feel free to point out a suspect as the murderer. All right. Oh, I see. Sheriff, the murderer is Lefton. The evidence is the tie, right? Correct, Detective Sampo. Assistant Detective. I be able to deduce the truth. Sheriff, the murderer is right. The evidence is the stool, right? Yes. For the laughter, how did I fail to realize this formidable intellect of yours? Uh. Help me. Dead. Right from the start, there was no murderer. The evidence is the ring. Whatever, I'm just spitballing <laughs> here. I... Goodness me. Deputy Sheriff, is he really a genius? How could such an unfathomable mystery be solved so easily by him? It sounded so herder right there. I think it's just the word genius gets me triggered. <laughs> Look, Miss Sparkle has given us a puzzle where every single answer is correct. That's amazing. How generous of her. Why do you take it so seriously? Miss Sparkle is a masked fool, not a masked genius. If it's a challenging puzzle you want, please go out there and turn right until you get to the Intelligentsia Guild. It is Herda. We're only responsible for providing an entertaining detective experience. What is happening? Anyway, since our genius detective Black Swan has cracked the case, I will now share Miss Sparkle's next puzzle with you. I hate this episode all of a sudden. So that's it? This is just going to go on and on forever? We can't do that. <laughs> My... Me and Sampo, same wave like <laughs> Black Swan looks like she's having so much fun. Hmm. <laughs> then I wish you both the best. Oh, yes, if you're not in a hurry, I can tell you the answers for some of the outcomes you never chose. I'm... I'm done with this shit. We're leaving. Just as you said... Solving puzzles is all just a cover for something else. That girl is toying with us. What should we do now? Just keep getting led around by her? No, Sampo, I think it's time. Miss Sparkle is a fascinating person. She seems chaotic inside, but 
Easy enough to understand. Disguise your worst Like a performer on the stage or a child hungering for attention. This game will be over soon. This time, we're going to catch her. Thank God. Miss Black Swan, Mr. Sappho, you're finally here. I am the famed detective of Panacone. And next to me here is my assistant detective. Oh, wait, what? A murder in a locked room has left us all stumped. Oh, no. As expected, another change in setting. Yesterday, my assistant and I were visiting the famed artist, Miss Sparkle, and we stayed the night. But this morning, Miss Sparkle didn't come out of her bedroom. Dun, dun, dun. The butler, Jean Chen, said that the door was locked from inside. So we ought not to have disturbed her. But Miss Sparkle had never slept in so late. And no matter how hard he knocked, there was no answer from inside. As soon as I heard, I knew something must have happened. So I acted decisively and broke the door down to get inside. Uh-oh. The room was covered in spattered blood. Miss Sparkle's body was lying right in the middle, her face white as snow. One look told me she'd been dead for some time. My God. Thinking quickly, I grabbed the artist's canvas to staunch Miss Sparkle's blood, but... Alas. Alas! Poor Miss Sparkle! She's left us now forever! Yeah, forever. Besides us and Zhang Shan, the butler, Left and the cook and Right the driver were also at the scene of the crime. <sighs> what would you like to do? Go home. Presumably, Miss Sparkle is now carefully arranging the next crime scene, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you skip all this rigmarole and just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me? It might tickle a little. What? <sighs> Wait up! Wait up! Hmm. Honest kid. I know where you are, Miss Sparkle. Oh, jeez. No cheating! Oh, Mr. Assistant Detective. That's right. You seem to be getting anxious. Uh, uh no, I, I, it's... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. This lock room murder case is pretty fun. <laughs> I, I want to guess who it was. Let's go. Can't keep girl waiting, can we? Keep girl, why'd you say it so quick? Hey, Miss Black Swan, wait up, wait up. Miss Sparkle has <laughs> one final message to announce. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go on. Ding a ling! Now comes the most exciting and romantic moment in any drama. The audience challenge. Oh Everyone no. Knows that the mighty masked fool Sparkle can change her appearance to look like others. And in this drama, the villain Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. What in the fourth wall is happening? I put to you, which character is it? Also, if you're interested in the locked room case that the memo keeper ignored, you can try out your powers of deduction. I put lots into coming up with the puzzle, so don't let it go to waste. If I don't look at it, are you going to beat me up again? Help me. The mass genius Miss Sparkle has thrown down the gauntlet. All the clues are in motion. Happy hunting! Alright, fuck this. This ends. This ends now. Nope, we're not doing that case. We're doing this. Miss, why didn't you just do this earlier? Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. But as a means to an end, I need to put this aside for a more indifferent process. Alright, where are we going? Hurry to the hidings, but there's no weird sweet dreams troop, nor is there evidence strewn all over the place. We finally caught up with her. Uh, but <laughs> uh -huh. that thing? A Bella Boggy and trash can? In Penacony? <laughs> what is happening? Hey. 
I didn't expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's on me. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of ants like me. Come then. This is the final question. Hmm. Hold up, let me go do something real quick. Okay, good. That's all set up. Now we wait. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? No murder case this time around. Just a riddle. Just the Sphinx's riddle. Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. Come on, dear. Give me your answer then. The Sweet Dreams Troop. Since it's a classic puzzle, the answer is people, right? Wah, wah. Wrong answer. How could it be as boring as that? The correct answer is... Sparkle! <laughs> I hate it here. She runs about all afternoon in a bluster, so is exhausted by evening, but has to still raise a hand to hold a toothbrush. Poor Sparkle. So naturally she's got four legs in the morning, two legs in the morning, and three legs at night. What the heck was that jibber jabber? <laughs> you. What a cute answer. <laughs> Can I just have a game or an anime that is just this duo? Thanks for the compliment, my dear. But you can't try to fool me, seeing as you just tried to cheat. Wrong answer. Accept your punishment. What? Alright, let's do this shit. I thought for sure it would be Sampo and Black Swan on a team. Since you're already here, my God, a meal before you leave. I feel my brain rotting just watching this. Good times, no time to say bye. Boom, kaboom. I gotta break it, right? Relax, it's better to make no move. <laughs> Get trash canned. Pain Please in my face. What do you want to know? <laughs> Stand still. Come on, I just need like one more hit. Oh my god! And dead. There we go. You have passed the Lonely Trash Cats trial. <laughs> Holy smokes! What's up with this guy? He just came out swinging from nowhere! <laughs> what is this angle? We just beat up. <laughs> The fucking wind shear dot team just beat up a trash can from Bellabog in Pinaconi in a fake detective story. Huh? No voices? <sighs> this guy's pretty quiet. <laughs> Miss, let's hurry up. Flip open the lid and find the girl. <laughs> Wait. Don't move. Something's off. But my tr my thing didn't go off. Uh... Uh, uh, miss, you, you killed Sparkle. Boyo Angles? Man, Sparkle kind of. Oh, nope. Is possible. How can people die inside Pentacone's <gasps> dreamscape? In the Garden of Recollection. Nope. Nope. What did you do? <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. 
You wanted it. <laughs> oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree, I'll end up just like she did. <laughs> what is this mission? There is no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. Yeah, but somebody snuck through and dropped off a death meme. Mm hmm. There's no need to take such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. Miss Sparkle? M Ms. Sparkle? Who are you talking to? I wonder, Sampo. You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you, Mr. Sampo? This? Don't jump to conclusions! <laughs> if you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So, deduction will do. <laughs> this mission. The hint for the final question was a little too obvious. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the locked room murder? <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How, How could, could I, I ever miss, miss it? it? The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Second, the victim had been dead for some time. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw... She's having way too much fun. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. But based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame and the blood everywhere didn't look like a fake to suicide. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. <laughs> the answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective is the murderer. Interesting. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before. Mm -hmm, but had mm -hmm. locked the door from the inside. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. The real twist. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible, to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. And, judging by his behavior, it probably had something to do with that canvas. Like some final words. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. Miss Sparkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me. That the murderer is the assistant detective. Which means it's you, Mr. <laughs> Sam. Face. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective than a memo keeper? In my opinion, there I was is gonna say, a it's not really a difference. The two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper and touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. Salvage it and protect them carefully. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Her famous one-liner. Exquisite reasoning. And very close to the truth. But I have another answer. What is it? 
Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer, but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. Dun, dun, dun. What a pity, such a pity. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Unfortunately, <laughs> Black Swan's face. the right answer is... Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as Sparkle's body. That's crazy. Why do I still not believe it? I won. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you won. But it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo? Yeah, who's then? Sampo then? Because I was wrong by the end. Or am I? And there's one more plot twist. Beautiful lady. I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's all. So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Why so serious, Bats? I have at least. You take the memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and Oh, the wink! Me? I think half the Legion just fainted. They're, they're too weak to the act of simping. This is where she says she already has a dance partner, right? Oh, am I understanding this correctly? <laughs> a masked fool inviting me to work together. What it sounds like. A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. I'm so excited now. If you're too late to take the stage. You can work behind the scenes. You're so devious. If you want to appreciate this drama, <laughs> you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. Oh. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. <laughs> All comes back to money, people. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces, right? What? How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. It doesn't lie. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. They do this with her all the time. They do this angle where like both her eyes are kind of half covered and it makes her look so beautiful. Devious. Devious. <laughs> so, you mean you're refusing? Memo Keeper, did you think you could just leave? What? Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever 
ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabog, right? Huh? I said, why not? Hmm, <laughs> don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my ecstatics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. Beat. And also, I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. Oh, the wink. <clears throat> no simping. Two winks from two of my favorite Pinaconi ladies in one video. Thank God I did all that training. I am the unsimpable. Trying to do a quest and <laughs> while I was just getting bullied. That's the end of Miss Black Swan's dream. Are you satisfied? Sampo turned out to be. Uh, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. It's worth repeating. Dreams are just dreams. And in Pentacle, dreams can be processed. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted. Let alone in someone else's dream speaking. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, uh, please do so by the cold hard light of reality. Sweet dreams. Oh no, where are we going now? Really? There's more? I wouldn't do anything to her. This is <laughs> This might be my favorite part, besides the winks. Just with the masked fools at the bar, listening to some cool jazz. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. My I thing. You out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. I am so interested now. Catastrophe is coming to your L06. Am I right? Well, no comment about that. Oh, his face. I've never That's seen that before. Said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. You and Adventure Maria Kakaladaka. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from <laughs> Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Sempo Kaski. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Who is Giovanni? The Fine. men and women at the tavern. Here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious, Bats? Why so serious? Don't say it too much. You'll push it too hard and it won't feel as good. When I say that, I mean the Joker reference jokes, but... 
your minds out of the gutter. A new message. Black Swan sent you a message request. Donnie Vic, I imagine you've already seen that dream bubble. Relax, I just want to know if anyone has come looking for you yet. Black Swan? Indeed, the memo keeper you know. <laughs> Black Swan using emojis just is not something that connected in my head. I'll make this simple. That fool named Sparkle is currently searching all over the place for that dream bubble. I do not know what her intentions are, but allowing it to slip into her hands will only make this situation more confusing. Donnie Vic, can you do me a favor and go to reclaim that dream bubble? Why? Oh, if it's for you, I'll do it. Although I am really curious why you don't just do it yourself. Your attitude is assuring. I will go with you. Oh, so you're coming anyway. But I don't remember where that dream bubble was left. Can you remind me? Did it say where it was left? We just touched it to our head, right? Surely it's in the... There's no way. I kind of had a thought. You'll be back, huh? I think it's about time you and me's little game came to an end. We'll see who tricks whom next time. Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Well then, everybody, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, and or witticisms, you can leave a comment about what could have potentially happened in that story. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon, hey, or... Hey, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ha! Bear trap! Gotcha, bitch! Like that, huh? <laughs> that's right, masked fool. Your games in my apartment end here. A little birdie, or should I say swan, tipped me off to when you might come by next. And I set up a little something something. <laughs> There's no power like team power. Time for you to go. Exit stage death. Done playing for today.